The Oscar won an Al Pacino in 1993 for the Best Actor category for Al Pacino's performance in The Scent of a Woman. It is a riveting story written by Bo Goldman and directed by Martin Brest. They do not make films like that anymore. In his acceptance speech, Mr. Pacino graciously gives gratitude for the gift of encouragement to the youth he believes the award represents. That if you could do it growing up out of the Bronx, anyone can. Pacino plays Frank, a blind war vet, whose singular desire is a last weekend fun blast, whereby he also plans to blow his brains out at his weekend luxurious suite at the Waldorf Astoria. He is valiantly stopped from pulling the trigger by Charlie, a private high schooler, who took a weekend job to look up to Frank for the weekend. Frank blind test drives pedal to the metal a red Ferrari through the empty Dumbo streets with Charlie in the passenger seat. He miraculously sweet talks out of a speeding ticket with an NYC cop on Plymouth Street. The story revs up to a high octane scene where Charlie risks his life to save Frank's. Frank regains hope for humanity through Charlie's heroic actions. He goes to bat for Charlie at a private school hearing where Charlie must confess which friends pull the pompous prank on the headmaster or get expelled. Frank delivers a tour de force speech attesting to Charlie's moral fiber and strength of character, claiming this is precisely the type of young man the private school should be encouraging, not expelling. Upon hearing Frank's testimonial, the school committee publicly overrides the headmaster's decision and Charlie is saved. There are many lessons from this film. Firstly, men should love and cherish women with respect, dignity, and honor. Secondly, believe in yourself the way that Charlie believed in Frank and Frank believed in Charlie. You do not need to hit a personal crisis, red level, alert situation to start believing in yourself. One technique is to bestow upon yourself a fun title that will elevate your self-confidence giving you an extra nudge to shift your self-belief in the right direction. Confidence is a muscle that is best built with attention and intention. Pay attention to what you like and what you do not like. If something bothers you, then figure out what it is that is triggering you and affecting your energy. Is someone being mean to you? Or are you the one triggered by a person that is trying to help you, but you are rejecting because you want to keep up appearances that you are strong and can handle it yourself? Observe yourself in your patterns. Do multiple people start to give you similar feedback about your behavior? Confidence is not cockiness, nor is it arrogance. It is fuel that you need in your source energy to self-motivate yourself to accomplish your manifestation action plan. What if you have the perfect thought combined with a supercharged emotion and are open to receiving from the universe? Without confidence, your actions will falter. What if you knew that the actions you take are always on the right track towards your destination? That is confidence, the internal conviction that no matter what, you will be okay. The fun title that you can name yourself is a simple life hack you can use to boost your self-esteem to kickstart the juices of confidence flowing in your system. Having trouble writing your book? Have your friends or loved ones call you a best-selling author? Or better yet, give that title to yourself. Wanting to study but having trouble believing you can get good grades? You do not have to wait to get accepted to a program where you will be called a scholar by others. Call yourself a distinguished scholar so studying becomes fun. Do not wait for somebody to give you social proof. Give it to yourself. You can either get someone else to play the game with you, or you can choose to boost your own self-esteem for yourself. Most of the time, we lack confidence simply because we get bogged down in a reality that is a figment of our own imagination. What is true is what you believe to be true. If you tell yourself the same story that reinforces you lack something because you do not actually have it in the physical reality, your mind will believe it to protect you and will keep reminding you that you lack that which you believe you do not have. We pretend to know ourselves and our situations when in fact others may look at us and think we have it all and not even fathom we lack confidence. 
Of course, what other people think does not matter. But you must match your thoughts of belief. If you believe that all is good and you're making strides in the right direction so that your hard work pays off, then it will be so. Match your manifestations with the belief that you're already coming out of abundance and healing. Believe and grow rich. Down on your luck feeling bad thinking there's something wrong with you after your last breakup? Did your ex tell you that? Or did you make that up in your head? Believe you can heal and date again from a place of abundance. Self start by inventing a fun title for yourself to reclaim your self-worth with confidence. Boost your own self-esteem and watch your self-confidence grow as you hold yourself at a higher, more engaging level than before. Call yourself the unicorn, the stallion, the legend, the champion. Own your superhero self. Sylvester Stallone called himself Rocky. Seriously, he called himself Rocky. Then he connected that character on screen with pure intention, true heart, and a childlike, innocent, can-do underdog attitude against all odds. Stallone off-screen was an unknown actor, unlike superstar Robert Redford that the studio wanted to play the role of Rocky for Stallone's original script. Stallone stood firm in his demand to play the role, albeit flat broke having to sell his beloved dog to get through the tough times. What can be tougher than selling your beloved dog you rescued in the first place from harm only having to give him up to survive yourself? The studio capitulated and gave so little funding that miraculously the 16mm stock film ran out on the final scene with no money left for the production. Today, you can go visit the Rocky statue and the steps leading up to the Philadelphia Museum of Art are known as the Rocky Steps. What are your steps going to be called? Decide today. Jules, now I want you to go in that bag and find my wallet, Pumpkin. Which one is it? Jules. It's the one that says bad motherfucker. Pulp Fiction.